Don't you love life when you know, when you know, you know you feel like sunshine on your skin in the middle of the winter when it's chilly, even when it's getting dry, front of a fire, laying with your baby and you're getting high, well, a couple of buttons on a sweet day, I've shown blown up a perfect way, don't you love life when you know, when you know, you know you feel like the first time you feel it in, coming together, feel a perfect skin, well, my chips on a cold day, ice cream stripping on a hot day, well, night time. On this trip, Charlie and I get off the grid and out of the grid for another daddy-daughter trip. We grab a couple of mates and we head to a bit of an island paradise. We've been waiting for this one for a long time and this is how we've enjoyed lockdown. New day, next trip. Here's the pack, simple. There's a few things in the back, boards on the roof. See if you can guess where we're gonna go. First aid kit and my mighty travel companion. Yo. Good time. Jars, I did a little intro before, but I didn't say where we're going. Oh. Showed the boards on the roof. So can I reveal them? Well, we, well, we're headed north. We're headed north. From the Gold Coast. Yes. Because that's the only place you can head from the Gold Coast at the, at the moment. Or you could go west. Say that we're going to an Some island. Hints. We're going to an island. We're going to an island with water. Around. One without roads, with no bitumen. No bitumen. No yes. bitumen. <laughs> <laughs> no bitchin' men for starters, yeah. only dad. We're going to, to Morton, Morton Island! Island. Woo! We love this place. Charlie hasn't been there since she was a little girl. I know, I'm and, very excited. Um, another daddy-daughter trip. If you haven't seen the previous daddy-daughter trip where Pebbly we went to Pebbly Beach. Beach. Check it out. It was a really great video. We did some fun stuff. We did my first creek crossing. Lots of mud holes. Really great track for anyone who lives around the New South Wales. Northern New South Wales, Southern Queensland. Such a great little trip. We might post a link up here. Yeah. <laughs> or there. You know people do that? Yeah. We will uh, do it though. Okay, I can show we'll you how to do we'll, that. Okay, good. There'll yeah. be a link somewhere. Definitely check that video out, but this one is going to be even better. We got some other mates some, coming with us. We've got some more friends coming with us this time. We've got D-Ray coming back the again. The doctor. The doctor. And yep. we've got two newcomers to the YouTube channel. Yeah, this trip is going to be insane. We're going to do some diving. We're going to do surfing. Of course, forward driving, camping, fishing. Absolutely. There's going to be so much to do and I can't Stand wait up to paddling. Get or we will miss the barge because we're running late. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the vegan again yes. and the paleo uh, keto fasting guy over here. So it's going, we've actually done really well. I think from, Pebbly, from the Pebbly Beach trip, we've definitely learned a lot about what we can and can't eat and how we can work together on it. Yep. Um, so I think this is going to be even better. This will be good. We just shopped for all five of us because yeah. there's a couple of the crew running late. So. D-Ray, the doctor, joined us and we just um, did one gigantic shop. So anyway, 460 bucks worth in the trolley and off we go. It was all go. worth it. That's only for three days. Well, we'll probably see you guys on the ferry, right? Very likely. <laughs> all right, peace. Just about to get on the ferry. Yes, sir. Give them a little look. We're gonna, yeah. The my cat, the big old my cat. She's got about 30 spare spots today, so we're pretty good. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah, it means we're that means not that too crowded. It's not going to be too many people there. We've li we're literally just coming after the Gold Coast show long weekend. Mm, so mm, mm. a lot of people would coming have tried back. to cram this trip in on the weekend. Lucky for us, we're coming just after it. So I'm hoping... It was sold out to get back the last few days when I looked at the ferry times. Oh, right. Okay. And then they have, they have Wednesday off and they only have one on Tuesday and we couldn't get back on that day. So that meant we didn't go on Sunday. So it's yeah, now Monday. Right. And this is going to be really, really cool. So... Brisbane's that way. Give you guys a little little view. There's Brizzy that way. We're headed, well, we're actually headed out there. <laughs> there we go. Gotta love the old Storm Australian made tie deflators. The lighting. Can we go see the boys? Oh, yeah. We've got a doctor here. Doctor, Phew. Doctor. Then, I don't know what his call yeah. sign is yet. <laughs> What's it going to be? Haven't got a call sign yet. Haven't got a call sign. Maybe tardy. Tardy. Maybe tardy. we'll get back to you with that one. Tardy. Tardy. Woo! So 
because they, they usually get come up all the way to here. Yeah, all the way up to the front, all the way up to the air. Pretty epic, hey? We can have a good time. We are. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Cheers, there we oh, go. Charles, yeah. Hi. Place. That's Sally's way. How beautiful is that? Here we go, team. We're on, Morn Island. the windows this place is freaking incredible waves crashing past us as we drive along the inside the west coast of Morton you arrive here Brisbane's back there sun's up ahead of our, at our 10 o'clock at the moment Sunshine Coast we can see how there's the Glasshouse Mountains over there in the distance and this is where you arrive hour and a half ferry ride and uh, you end up at this incredibly beautiful place we're already full driving Pretty and amazing. It just gets nicer from here. I so. think the most thing, like we've just arrived on high tide, so I don't think it's always like this. But a pretty incredible thing is we are literally driving on a thin strand of sand right now. Hmm. And just to my left, all I can see is this incredible crystal clear water. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty unique, a pretty unique experience here. And uh, set up quickly this afternoon, got a sou'easter, so North Point is going to be offshore, Giles. I know. This afternoon, and these waves here tell us there's a bit of swell coming past. So it's wrapping all the way around in here, so we're a big chance to get a little wave this afternoon. If we can get there quick enough. Exciting! We'll see you guys Yo. soon. That's a dead turtle carcass. Look at this, what a beautiful spot. Literally, the water, you can probably see it through the trees if you, the quality's that great. The water's but just, it's just there. there. An Aldi swag. Yes. Yeah, not bad. Right. Actually, we have one of those. The mattress inside is a little bit on the slim side. Did a camping trip last year, one of those really cool inflatable little, so I'm going to lay that inside oh. as well. Okay, here we go. Swaggy setup, a couple of tents for the fire. Swag, Benny coming back soon. Perhaps a little overkill. We made it. Uh, I got here. Let's uh, go have a little visit to the beach before we cook up some dinner. We just finished setting up the campsite, which was great. Um, we're just driving along the beach. Pretty epic. It's probably not even doing it justice for how incredible this is. The sunset is we just gorgeous. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk It's blurry but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away but it probably won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna dive Dive into you And maybe I'll drown But what can I do? And it would be alright To let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide Heading to North Point now, we're going to go for a quick swim. Because tomorrow yeah. we're hoping to surf and do a few other things. Tide's dropped a little bit, so we're driving along this section of beach that's kind of super wide. At high tide, is really sketchy because you've got to get across the creek, but we're going to get across the creek very easily right now, crossing it 
as we speak. I was doing just fine the way that it was. Then you hand me these emotions, didn't want them, but I guess that I'm stuck with them. They could go away. So we've just had a, an amazing swim on the sunset. You guys probably would have seen if, if we included time lapse in the video. I think that was exactly, for, speaking for myself, that was exactly what I needed oh, to kind so of beautiful. really just bring me into that present tense not thinking about the work we got to do or what we're going to get home and kind of just getting organized yeah, and all, yeah, oh, it yeah. just gets you a little bit out of the moment doesn't it 100 percent just kind of completed this whole feeling for me oh, i'm good. feeling a lot more calm kind that's of good, sinking babe. into this a bit better for me anyways that's very good <laughs> So super cool little spot here. It's actually a little secret up the north. It's not really a secret, but it's a cool little uh, insider info. Up in the northeast end of Morton Island here is that it's a beautiful little tent campsite here and some amenities toilet block that you can drop into when you need to in the area. But also this little beach shower. It's just sitting right here, right in front of the beachfront. So a little walkway out there. Just look for it up in the northeast area. Great way of not having to go home and having a a camp shower, just getting yourself a fresh water shower before you go back. Just so stunning. This place is just so incredible. And right now, there's hardly anybody here. What have we got, Carl? Taties. <laughs> Sweet potato and potato <laughs> on the campfire. And the steaks are coming next. Uh, all in. What are you doing there, Giles? Just Giles? giving my, my taties a turn. Giving the taties a turn? There we go, so just getting them in the coals. Oh, nestling in. Well done, Trevor. Thank you, thanks guys. Beautiful. Trevor, oh, yeah. nice. what have we got here, mate? Okay, well now, mate, what we've got is we've got some um, nice, down here, Ooh. some nice steaks ready to go. We've got some um, herb salt, some, have we got garlic salt on these ones? Just plain no. salt. And we've got some also, some coconut oil spray. So what, Trevor, what are you doing there, mate? Mate, I'm creating a nice little flat bed. Throwing a bit of this over. Oh, that looks good. Medium. Throw it in there nice and tight. Like a tiger as he lines it up and he takes the shot and yeah, he got it. We want to see a little bit of blood come through. Not Ooh. too much and we're going to have a little scrape off. So we're going to do this. Nice. So we've got our medium going there that little bit longer. That rare over the back that I'm doing. That. Oh, look at that. Look at the crustacean. Oh, is that what you mean, boy? Yeah. Let's scrape off. It's surprising the charcoal doesn't stick. Stick more, hey? Yeah. It's amazing. Can you shine that light on there, mate? Sure It'd be I good can. to have that. It looked. Job, it just didn't want to ruin the effect. Dan's just mesmerised. A little bit of drool running down his chin. So here we are. Oh, look at that thing. Got this one super rare. Carlos, you're medium. What's that taste like? Oh my god, it's melting. Look at that. I don't even need a knife. Just pulling meat off it. It's exactly what it's like. Hey, it's crazy. Ridiculous. It's just something about cooking on the coals. That is amazing. There you go. Pretty stoked. Thanks, Tastes Trevor. incredible. Very well seasoned. And now we're just going to get some potatoes out and add to this. Mm. Mm. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah. there you go. That is a queen tater. Right, I'm gonna grab the rest out. Good first day, crew. Look at that. Oh, that's well quite done. rare. I'm just having one of those pig, pig headed moments. What, whatever. I'm getting a How French to use press lesson from Carl. His French okay. press. Even though it's my French press. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Dan doing the sensible thing, not being involved in any fight or argument. And getting the fire somewhat started. Trying. As the kookaburras welcome us. A bit cloudy today. So, where are we going, D-Ray? North Point. There's the setup. North Point it is. Good morning, guys. Today we're talking about my nutritious vegan breakfast. Anzac cookies. Mm. 
mm, mm, mm. the best. That's what I wanted to say. Enjoy your insects. I'm driving out on the beach. Incredible. Oh my god, the surf is actually pumping up in the corner. Oh my god. Small, but incredible. It's a lot nicer out here. <laughs> it's a lot nicer out here than it is in the campsite. Like it feels a lot sunnier, not as overcast, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it feels much more open out here, doesn't it? Yeah. There we go, guys, right there. Little pot of dolphins. There's the dolphins. So just check the surf at North Point, if Dad wanted to pan around, you could see. It actually looks really fun for the foil on the uh, mouth. It even probably takes off top that day. Look at this fun. little wave he's got there, look at that. Yeah. This uh, young couple here, they've walked down from somewhere they're camping. I don't think we're going to sit right on the point. It seems to be a bit fast here and there, but we might hit a little bit down the shoulder. Um, and I think that's peeling a bit slower. Bit quite a bit nicer but we're going to check over i think this is called honeymoon's bay am i correct no, yeah no that's honeymoon's bay over there we're going to check on the main beach so there's a little sandy area coming up here which is uh we're heading over to the main beach it catches a lot of people out so basically we've already got our tires down to about 16 psi and uh, in this Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, which has got a great little four-wheel drive drive chain or select system, <coughs> we're in four high <coughs> lock center, and we're in the sand setting. And it actually really changes your uptake of your gearing. Mm. Um, 100%. And it drives so nicely, even though it's four high, through these situations. So we've taken this over Nagala Rocks, um, some pretty crazy yeah, stopping halfway this. up and still driving. So we've got a bit of dampish sort of rain in the last couple of days. So the actual track's not real dry, so it's not a real problem. But Charlie's having a go. We're gonna to get to the section up here. There's a lot of whoop whoops, wombat holes and things through here. So it's a lot of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, they could see the track right now. It, it looks like um, a mini version of like a dirt bike, <laughs> dirt bike road where it's just like those little bumps everywhere. I'm trying my I hardest like, I to- I feel like Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura, like, <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to take the like flattest spots, but there doesn't seem to be any. You're doing a good job. So yes, we're gonna get this section. Here's a little climb coming up here. There we bad. go, up the sand. Look at that, not too bad. Wow, eats it up, eh? Yeah, wow, this, Whoa. ooh. <laughs> she don't mess around. <laughs> I brown the other side. <laughs> so this is fun. Helpful to have good suspension, which we do. Yeah, so what how high is your suspension? So we've got um, uh, Kim down there at Mermaid Suspension. Love the love that bloke. He did a great job. Trip to Cape York was amazing. Two inch lift. Right. Yeah, we got a full two inches out of it, which is great. And some King Springs and Bilstein shocks which uh, separate the um, the gas and the oil so that after a long time it doesn't come together in in like a um and create a um what's the word i'm looking for basically it um, stops your suspension working properly which we had last time we came to morton island when the car was brand new so now it can go all day um, over the corrugations and everything and they i the german engineered the bilstein shocks and they're fantastic can't recommend them either. You enjoying them? I'm loving them. Yeah. We never. We basically hardly ever touch down. No. Um, we're only on 31 tires, so. I think the only time we really were was when we were first coming on, like off, basically off the ferry onto the island through a, um, a track through the middle, um, and it was quite soft sand, and the tracks had gone quite deep. So the no, middle the deep part wheel of the wheel ruts. Yeah. yeah. So the middle part of the tracks were very high. Uh, soft sand so you can only just feel it touching but other than that we've had no trouble with all the dips and stuff like that 
Well, as most people watching this video would know, we're on 31 inches, so we would need 33 inches to get up that little higher to get that center diff pumpkin up because you need the the broader diameter of the tire. Right. We're going right here. Ah, look at this nice little corner. So, yeah, 31s, which is fine. It's worked really well. Got all the way up to Cape York, did the whole old telly track, and now um, eating it up here on Morton as Charlie gets to do the downhill section. Let's spin it around. what the tracks look like it's beautiful through here it's very very peaceful halfway around the headland we've driven around the headland there it is <laughs> back to north point old hoony head over here <laughs> Jumping way out to sea there. Straight over Jarley's head, but a long way out. We came to party all night long and sing along to every song. We don't need nobody's attention, don't need nobody else in our zone. It is a sexy spot. <laughs> it's a sexy spot. That's how he described it. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a surf there. Again. We're gonna check it out. Hopefully, it'll be a bit of fun. Okay. So this little spot, it's tricky to get, but when you get it and it's good, it's really good. Yes. And we just had a look over the corner, and there's a little bit of swell in there. Maybe some sort of shoulder high waves. Super clean. Dolphins swimming around everywhere. Looks like it could rock. be a bit of fun. Yeah, just after the bottom of the low tide, so we might actually get some little barrels, some tubes, I'm some tube term. Some tube term. The time in the green room. Let's see how we go. Signet. We parked over. Got the board. Got a little bit of a kit ready to go. Yeah, everyone's got a few Ooh. options just in case, but it's looking, oh, well, look, look at that, it's looking pretty sexy. fun. The sexy lump take off. Sexy oh, yeah. Lump. Oh, yeah. We came to party all night long, and we don't need no chaperone. We don't need nobody's attention, and yeah, we just want to dance on our own. Here we go, have a look around the corner here. This is really, really fun. Beautiful little walk through. Come and have a look at this.
go. So we hit the beach, seriously, everybody drives right past this. Maybe it's the walk, but at the end of it, it's paradise. This is an incredible beach and wait to see the waves we catch. Incredible. Woo! There's a little buddy somewhere. And you watch it over the sea. Look at the sand side. Can you just set up right here? Sure. Jump off them rocks and get out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. from telling lies that is how we stay alive mm. so you know that i don't mind about what is wrong and what is right they keep Don't 
about you? Don't you wish that you could we just fly? We the most ridiculous, fun surf and foil. 100%, yeah. And we saw dolphins, whales, shark. stingrays, shark, manta rays. I saw, I saw a manta ray jump. So cool, I've never eh? seen that before. I saw a big, um, like, a long tom jump right out of the water when I was foiling out. Got one up in front of yeah, me. Yeah, well. Didn't quite film it, but... Um, uh, I'm, waves are beautiful so far i think we haven't been to many places but if you are coming to Mullen island you have to go to boulders that was incredible it was seriously like something you'd see in hawaii it was the bay was amazing it'd be a great little place on like mid tide even low or high tide to go for a little swim uh in like the protected bay area it's just incredible. The whole view, the walk down from the lighthouse is amazing. Couldn't recommend it anymore. Yeah, it's um, something special about being over there, hey, because you're 100%. away from all of the other stuff like the, you know, mobile service and yeah. and um, it's kind of like you're shielded. that You can't see the Gold Coast, you can't see the Sunshine yeah, Coast, yeah. you can't see Brisbane. You can't even really see the rest of the island. <laughs> so you kind of feel like you're in a whole other place, which I think is probably what made it so special it didn't feel like Morton it just felt like somewhere completely different hey mm, totally pretty epic so amazing place nobody over there and if you're a surfer in particular yeah, and the conditions surfer, are right you, have to you go, go over there it is very sharky yeah. it is um, a lot of sea life going through there and it is kind of uh, you know not a lot of people around so it's an interesting one um, mm. and it's a fair walk in I probably wouldn't want to go on my own but yeah. if you've got a trusty friend or a few of them definitely head out there because it's a bit of fun fresh water shower on the way back and time for late breakfast lunch at 20 past one yeah. <laughs> oh. pretty amazing little cool part of the track peaceful energy here it's kind of like being on Fraser Island but a much smaller version of it check this out shower clean off washed our body i've just like brushed my hair and stuff and i feel freaking amazing you look amazing too oh, thanks sweetheart now beautiful. we're celebrating with a bit of a lowe's bro cola kombucha cola kombucha oh. Mm. oh 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 hold on a minute ready 51 it's like having a beer but for health nuts <laughs> it's like having a beer but for pussies <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Whew, a little afternoon nap after all of our exercise. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a whole other planet right now. That's what I like about Morton, is that it's actually a really cool place to chill too. Mm. Like Fraser Island, Definitely. you've got to drive all day to get to different places. Yeah. Even if you go for five or six days, you've got to work pretty hard to see everything. Yeah. But Morton, you kind of... Um, it's quite it's, compact, everything's yeah, it's, close. It's like a quarter More of time to just actually chill and settle into where you are. Mm. But I think for me personally, we've just come out of winter. So Ooh. like today was like my real first soak up of lots of sun. Mm. And it's really taking me out of me. I feel mm. a little bit drunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> a bit sun drunk. A little bit sun drunk. It's going slow through the tiny bit of salt water here so it doesn't splash up under the car. But hey, amazing <sighs> surf this morning. Incredibly beautiful. This cloud cleared away. And it got so hot this afternoon. I was just dropping a little, missed the high tide. But now we're going up to have a look at the little sandy rock formations up here on the top. Cool little things. I've never actually seen them before. Too many trips to Morton. But no one knows it's here. No, I didn't. What an amazing daddy-daughter trip to some secret spots and places people haven't even seen. Wait till you see what you get up to this afternoon and tomorrow morning. Make sure you subscribe to catch episode 15, part two of Morton Island in two weeks' time. Won't you at least give
be there trying and you could fly so high as free as a bird